Welcome to Speaking of Beauty with Holly Folger. I'm Holly, and I'm sitting here today with Tracy Lockwood. Tracy's a friend, and she's also an amazing actress. You have two daughters. I do. Eden is my three-year-old, and Ava Rose is two months. Having daughters and the whole beauty thing and mm -hmm. conversation, did, did it change? It changed my perspective of who I am, and I realized the things that I'm sort of struggling with. I have a great mother, but I, I realized listening to her talk about, oh, I don't look good in this, or I'm fat. Nothing to do with us. And what she said to my sister and I, she never told us we looked bad or anything like that. Just hearing that in my consciousness growing up, mm -hmm. I realized like I say those things too. And my husband has said to me, you, you can't say that. That's what our girls hear. And that's, that's why six-year-olds think that they have fat thighs or too curly hair or things right. like that. So it's really shifted my perspective in terms of what am I not just saying to them about themselves, but what am I saying about myself in front of them that they then will carry forward into their life? Wow, that's really cool. You have to be very mindful yeah. all the time. Your daughters are beautiful. They are. They get told that on the street. People passing all the time are like, oh my God, your, your daughter's gorgeous, you're beautiful. I will go out in sweatpants with like spit up, I mean, to places that it's really not appropriate, just in not caring at all. But I'm very conscious of what the girls are wearing. Really? I'm like, are the girls looking nice? I mean, it's almost like you're invisible and as long as they yeah. look presentable that I'm, I've got it together, it's very odd. If you were to speak to the moms out there and talk about how they can take care of themselves, I haven't figured it out yet. I don't, I don't think of my, it taking care of yourself in a physical sense anymore. Now I think about it in terms of can I have 10 minutes to phone a friend and just mm -hmm. try and talk about something other than other what than my the, child just did. Yeah. But that's something that's personal to me. And sometimes I realize you can't even feel 10 minutes that way. I know. That my brain doesn't work that way anymore and that's scary. So project yourself to 60. Mm. Who are you? Would you, do you ever think about that? I do. I think I've started that a lot more now because my, my mother is about to be six. She's, her 59th birthday is like in a week. But she re my father and my mother, after years and years, 30 plus years of marriage, recently got divorced. Oh, that must be It's intense. changed my perspective a lot. And I think it scares me for myself, yeah. too, because I think she really is a woman that let her interests and in all of those right. things slide when she had kids. And I think... She sort of thought she would discover those again with my dad when we were all gone. And as it turned out, we all left and he found somebody new. And I think it's just completely crushed her. So for me, how that relates to me is I think a lot about how do you, how do you maintain yourself so that when you do get to the point where your kids aren't your focus anymore, that you, that you have something to offer to the world. You're a fierce actress. <laughs> you are. You are a fierce actress you're great and, but you know it, it is that thing where you give over yourself and then you get to the point where it's just oops mm -hmm. and it's you know it's hard so let's talk about being aspirationally pretty <laughs> <laughs> what is that apparently what it means is it's pretty enough that you can be a role model and sell things commercially, but not too pretty that you turn off the population of middle America. This is interesting to me because, how old are you? Do you say? I am 35. Okay. Being an actress, the ageism is truly scary. Talk about it from your perspective. I'd really like to hear what it's like because I know with my husband in his 50s, he works a lot. At least with my husband, he looks very young. And now he's at a little bit of a standstill because I think he looks too young to be a father of two. But he's also just around the bend, as his agent and manager tells him, is oh. he'll be into dad roles. And my agent's not telling me those same things. They're like, well, what else can you do? Oh. <laughs> and I don't think they're talking about acting. So it's <laughs> like, do you have any skills? Yeah. <laughs> I think that for us, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to also be supportive of them sort of in their career migration, Maybe. but I did not, I sort of thought the, the wall was a myth until I started to hit the wall and then I realized you have, to, you have to be at a certain level of success for them to want you when you're older. You can't kind of be right. still breaking through the barrier. But I think there's more opportunity for you to push outside the box if you're willing to redefine the box for yourself. I'm realizing no one is going to do it for you. Like, I have ideas that are worth listening to, mm -hmm. and it's not just 
it's going to have to be about more than just taking a script and being who this person is. It's going to have to be about creating that script and saying, like, no, this is not what women are. This is what women are, and I'm willing to put forth a new idea about it.